Stephen Harper likes to remind us that he got elected by promising to cut government spending. And now it turns out, boy, is he serious. How serious? He's gone out and hired some guys from Bay Street in Toronto to tell him how to do it. And boy, is it a bargain. The Harper government is paying these guys $90,000 a day for eight months. It works out to be about $20 million. Now, there's a few ways you can look at this. Some people may say, this is an egregious waste of taxpayers' money, but not me, but then again, I'm a glass half full kind of guy. I prefer to look at this as a teaching moment, you know, for the kids. Did you know the concept of irony is introduced in Canadian schools at about grade eight? And many teachers say it is a difficult concept for the children to grasp. Not anymore, thanks to Mr. Harper, because the idea of spending $90,000 a day to get tips on how not to spend money, that is the new textbook definition of irony. A five-year-old will understand irony after this. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand sometimes you have to pay the big bucks for an expert. Last month, I hired a plumber to fix my toilet because I don't know how to do that. The difference is, I didn't run around the country telling everyone that I was the only guy in Canada who could fix the toilet, which is what Harper did. And now he's had to go out and hire these consultants who have no experience balancing this country's books to tell him how to do it. Hey, Steve, I've got an idea. Why don't you give Paul Martin a call? He's got experience. I mean, I admit, he was pretty loopy when it came to being prime minister, but as a finance minister, he knocked it out of the park. Or better yet, why don't you call the last conservative finance minister who left the country's books in better shape than when he found them? Oh, right. That would be Sir Samuel Tilley, who died in 1896. Come on, Steve. Save us all 20 million. Give Paul a call.